Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Let's go ahead and get to our reading. I will pull an oracle card and go from there. If you've never been to my channel before, I do not take jumpers. I wait for my guides and angels to tell me the cards are in the order that they need to be in. And while bad things do sometimes happen, I will always try to find a positive outcome. All right, let's go ahead and get to our guidance for the day, shall we? Don't forget, I do have a new series coming up um, starting on Sunday for Star Seeds, Light Workers, Earth Angels. Um, we're just going to get into the nitty gritty and see who we are and why we came here and what our purpose is and all of our abilities. I hope you tune in every Sunday to include a weekly reading for us. I think it'll be great. Guidance from the Spirit. Answers above your head. Spirit is communicating support. We do have support. We have support for all of our endeavors. It's really just a matter of tuning in and tapping into who we need to see in order to get that inspiration, that guidance from the spirit, so to speak, when we tap into the collective consciousness, when you learn to navigate the crystalline grid and you see the things that are there and you can be receptive to the things that are good for your soul for your spirit to drive you forward on your path, not somebody else's, just your own. That's the important part. And just remember, it's Pisces season. It's time to let the wild child out. It's time to be a flirtatious, right? A bit flirtatious with your desires and your dreams and with life and with nature, with the divine. Just let them know how much you love them. I promise you, there's an open portal right now there's always an open portal, but there's always another one in which to fully align yourself with and move forward in your life. You just have to know which ones are for you and which ones aren't. I can help you with that. All you have to do is reach out to me if you find you're feeling a bit lost on your way, your direction in this life. Reach out to me. I can help you. I can't do it for you, but I can help you. All right. As a guide, so to speak. Yes, a mentor, a coach, whatever you wish to call it. You need a little bit of extra guidance, reach out to me. I'll be glad to help you. Always. Explore. Adventure. Well, we can explore the recesses of your mind if you want. We can explore the recesses of our world, of the astral realm, of the collective consciousness. Doesn't matter. Just explore. Just remember, we are the rhythm makers of our life. We dance to the beat of our soul, of our spirit, of our true purpose when we came into this world, okay? We all came with one. You just need to figure out what it is. We all have one. You know, we all have different avenues to take. We're all light workers. We all are. We just all have our own path. And sometimes we all need gentle reminders to let go of the shadows. Even when we don't think they're shadows. Well, that's the ego. Thinking that they're smarter than us. Not wanting to change. Not wanting to bring light into the comfortable shadows that exist within our lives. Yeah, comfortable shadows. Those parts of us that aren't so fucking great, yet we still need to work on getting rid of. We think they're, they're really good. We think we're being slick, right? But we're not. It's just the ego making us think we are. Where's your reverence? Remember reverence. If you don't think about reverence, check yourself. Emergence. Yes, it's time for all of us to emerge. All light workers, all earth angels, all star seeds. I don't care what you call yourself. It's time for all of us to emerge and shine our light with all of our special talents and abilities. It's time to raise the vibration of this universe. And it's just finally time to step in, all of us, all the way back to the 60s and maybe even before. It's time to wake up. It is time to truly emerge and shine our lights. None of us are better than anybody else. None of us are. Remember, we're all here to do one thing raise the vibration 
of this planet and universe so that we can all meet and live as one. We can all finally be at home where we're supposed to be. Yeah, I know. And we are going to do it through earth magic. My fairies, your fairies, my angels, your angels, we're tired. We want to go home. We don't want to live in the shadows anymore. We came here to do a job and it's time to do it. It's time to quit screwing around with the shadows and just eradicate them. They don't fucking matter. We matter. Our light, we matter. We have the strength, we have the power to affect change in this entire world, in this entire universe. And it's time to let us shine and do our job. Yeah, I know. The autumn equinox is coming. It is. And it is a time of release, sure. The autumn equinoxes, everything that we've done all this year, everything that we've done, all the seeds that we've planted, all the hopes and desires that we've tried to manifest. Now it's time to release the outcome. It's the autumn equinox. It's time to harvest all of it. It's time to be okay with who we are. It's just time to release it and say yes to life. And yes, I do believe in the Fae. I do. More than anything you could possibly imagine. I love them, live with them, feed them, nurture them, shine their lights. I hope you do the same. Do it with your plants, with your angels. Every time you give to somebody, every time you water a plant, every time you look at the flower on the side of the road and you see its beauty, it's the angels talking to you, guiding you, calling you home. Shine your light. No more shadows. No more shadows. We all want light. We all want to come home. All right, let's go ahead and get our healing energy before I go off the wall. Yeah, I'm already over the wall, I know. I'm just tired of the shadows. I'm tired. I'll call on my children. I don't care. Of being afraid to shine their light. There's just no reason for it anymore. We are free to be who we want to be. And we want to shine. We all want to shine. That beam that has been with you since your birth, they're screaming inside. It's time to come out. It's time to shine. It's time to revert back to who we were when we came here. It's time to shine. It's time to forget the pain and the sadness and just remember who we are. We are their children. We are here to shine. We're here to bring peace and unity amongst all creation, all planets, all universes. I don't care how you look at it, all realms. Transformation. I am constantly evolving. I improve inwardly by working on my weaknesses and refining my strengths. Life ensures I'm presented with situations that will help me learn and grow. I am aware of my progress and open my wings to the light. We do, because we're rising up. Our wings, we are gonna fly so high. We are gonna shine so bright. Yes, we are. The calm. 
I breathe, live, and grow the light within me. I do one thing at a time and focus on the present moment. I cast off my doubts, all fear dissipates, and I find peace in my being. I do. And then it all comes down to this one thing. And it can be hard. It can be hard sometimes to find the courage that we need to tell a universe to stop the shadows, to stop the bullshit, to rise up to the being of light that you are and help extinguish the shadows within the ethereal realm where all of our brothers and sisters love. The angelic beings of light that wish to shine and thrive within this world as we tear down the veil so that we can all live as one to find the courage to stand tall for all of us not only ourselves but for all of us against all spiritual oppression all of it it's time to shine i am stronger than fear and bigger than doubt i am light and i remain light I trust in God and stand tall before the test of light. I grow and become wiser through every challenge. I am a new being of life, as are you. Every day we wake up, every day, just remember to keep looking to Gia, to the earth, our mother, where we come from within the spiritual realm, the ethereal realm. She's there to nurture and to love and to guide and to shine light, not shadows. If you are working with plants and you see shadows, I wanna tell you one thing, just one. They are the shadows of the past that need to be eradicated. If you want to go into plant medicine and you see shadows, you need to shine your light so bright there. It's those shadows that we need to get rid of. Those are the pains of the past that they're showing you. She's pulling you down into her world, into her shadows, so that you can shine your light so bright to help her rise up from the shadows that are consuming her world. Do you understand me? It's time to rise up and eradicate the shadow. We don't embrace it. Breathe a little fire if you have to, but it's time to get all those shadows gone. She does not belong within our mother's realm. Do you hear me? We all come from there. Look inside and see. We all come from there. All right, let's go ahead and get our moon card. Yeah, I feel like I'm preaching and, you know, admonishing, disciplining, stern. I don't know. Uh, you know, the channel messages that come through, I don't always understand them, but I do know mom is fucking pissed. I don't know how else to say it. Stop fucking around and get rid of the shadows already. Flirt with life. Say yes to life. Believe in whatever you believe in, but know that divine light inside of you, that angelic being, he or she is screaming. I mean screaming. And yes, our hard work is paying off. It is. And it's a lot, right? Yeah, they're telling us to hold our vision. And the reason they're telling us to hold our vision, because it's not easy eradicating the shadows that have been for so long. Where everybody sees it as it's good to go within them and work with them and see what you see. But in all reality, you can, you can do that. Look at your shadows. See what you see. But don't leave them alone. Go back and heal the heart. Travel that ancestral line. Find out where that shadow started. You're the one that can heal it. It's your shadow. Follow its path. 
Eradicate it. Light up your life with light. I do mean that, actually. Follow it. Light it up. We're going to go ahead and get a divine guidance card. Yeah, I don't know. They're going for it. That's all right. One divine guidance card and then we'll get to the other one. All right. It's okay. Yes, we are going to celebrate. We are all going to celebrate. When we finally realize the shadows are the ones that need to push back. We're, we're light. That's all we are. Yeah, we have shadows, we have hurts, we have pains. Fuck, I'm 62 years old and I got news for you. I have been beat up by this world so many times and I keep standing and I keep shining and I keep reaching and finding that speck of light and saying, here I am, let's grow, let's dream, let's wish some more. And it's all you have to do. It's not a way about beating away the shadows. It's about seeing the little one inside, the angelic being, and saying, how may I help you? What do you need to shine in this world? I don't care how fucking crazy it sounds. Try it. The little boy, the little girl, the little one inside. Ask them what they need. And they'll tell you. They just want to shine. They want to know they're okay. They want to know that their smile is seen. They just want to go home. Why are we blocking them? Why are we letting our pain stifle them? They want to shine. The possibilities are infinite, okay? Let them shine, find a way. Let them come out and play. Show true gratitude for this world and everything that we have, everything. We are all royal. Don't separate yourselves anymore. We're all earth angels. All of us. You came here from somewhere else, you think? Okay. You're here now. In Earth. You are an Earth angel. Doesn't matter where you came from. We're here to do a job. We're here to light up the universe. So that we can all be as one. Just don't separate yourself anymore, okay? Yeah, they're, they're doing it. We'll get you one more. Oh, are you sure? All right. They want the fairy oracle cards today. I don't use them often. But okay, I thought maybe they were pointing to the fairy blessings, but they're not. They want the fairy oracle card today. All right. Fairy Oracle it is. Heal thyself. Yes, please. Let your angelic being shine. Please. You don't have to wallow in the pain and hurt of yesterday, of yesteryear. Remember I told you, the Lionsgate portal guided by yesterday and tomorrow. We only stay in the present. When I talk about traveling the ancestral line to heal that hurt, I'm not talking about living in the past. We're living in the present moment, healing the past hurt so that this moment right here can shine even more, okay? I know it's a hard concept, it's a lot to understand, but it's okay. I'm here to help us all understand. We'll grow together. We'll shine our lights so bright. We will release all of our brothers and sisters from the shadows that consume them. All of them. I'm 
know. Trust me. I know. That's what we're going to do. Yes. You'll see. It's got to be beautiful. I don't say beautiful too often. I find it, I don't know what I find it. I think glorious is a better word. Oh my gosh. The sacred path. An irresistible pull down a distinct path, ley lines, mystical traditions. Yes, I'm going to read it. And yes, we're getting both cards, we know. The fairy wishing well. <laughs> Gee, manifestation, expectations, offerings. You'll understand in a second. <laughs> the Midnight Prince. Ask for what you want. Be honest. I know, right? My fairy king. My love. My other half. We all have one. Just be honest. <laughs> Slow down. Grounding. Listen for the heartbeat of the earth. The subtle changes. Yeah. So they're going for it. So they're trying to tell a story and they want me to let you know. All right. Um, the Fae are very real. And yes, we are all mothers to some of them. We all are. And I want you to know my children as well as yours. Call them any way you want. They're tired. They're tired of the shadows. The Fae welcome you into their world, and it's time that you quit resisting, all right? I know it doesn't make any fucking sense, all right, to someone who believes so much that they are the creator of their own universe. There's somebody who believes they are up there conjuring and manifesting what they want in their life. It's hard to understand that there is a fairy guiding them, that there is a spirit within the ethereal realm that is attached to them that is helping you to shine and to see things. And I want you to know they're telling me they're tired of the shadows. I don't know. Bring them to the light. No more shadows. Help me rid the shadows from the ethereal realm from which we all come. Please, quit looking at the shadows as if they're your own. They're not. They're hers. Okay, let's get rid of them together. Let's heal her heart. Push the shadows back. Let the light shine, not the shadow. Let the light shine. All right, yeah, all right, I know. I'm talking to a very specific person. I know, I think they know too. So let's go ahead and read. The Secret Path. Well, that's the path of the Fae. Okay? It is. Mystical traditions. Fairy traditions. The Fairy wishing well? Well, that's the ethereal realm. That's where you're going to manifest your dreams. That's where you're going to manifest your deepest desires. The things you want in this life for you. You're going here. You're going to the Fairy wishing well. And my fairy king, your fairy king, the fairy queen, I don't care how you call it. They want to know what you want. And be honest. And then, slow down and listen for your answers. Me, I wish to eradicate the shadows that hold my brothers and sisters prisoner. 
within the realm of the earth, in the ethereal realm. There's shadows everywhere. I want to get rid of all of them. I want to bring us all home to the light. That's what I want. And I really hope you'll take this ride with me and help me eradicate the shadows from the world in which we live, in the ethereal realm from which we come. I pray you'll light up the entire universe with me so that we can all finally be as one and be at home within a 5D existence. The 3D is here and we're living it. But let your spirits soar higher, okay? Yeah, all right. Someone screaming my name, come and make me holy again. Richie Blackmore, Man on the Silver Mountain. It's a great fucking song. Come and make me. I don't know. Go listen to it. Man on the Silver Mountain by Richie Blackmore. By Rainbow, actually. It's actually... Richie Blackmore is the lead singer from Rainbow, and they call it Richie Blackmore's Rainbow, but it's really just Rainbow, Man on the Silver Mountain. All right, love and light to you always. Bright blessings. I wish you the very best in life. I truly do. Have a great day. Namaste.